Hello YouTubers, my name is Michael Pevlitich and I'd like to address some of the issues I've seen recurring through the MX forums and various help pages around the internet on how to work with HDMI audio. A lot of people are, t are saying that HDMI audio is not working. Their system is not picking up HDMI audio. It's most likely because of misunderstanding or a lack of understanding on how it works. And my goal right now is to show you guys how to work with that. So behind me, I have my TV, uh, my laptop's turned around so my webcam can pick it up, and I have a um, HDMI cable here, oops, there it is, that I'm going to plug into my TV. Now before I do that, I'm just going to go ahead and shrink this uh, this screen here, I think it's Alt F8 to put the cursor down the bottom, yes it is, and pull it way out of the way so you can see what's going on. Plug in the HDMI cable in now. And my TV is now displaying the same picture that my desktop is. When I go ahead and click play on this video here, um, which is called Code Breaker, I'm just going to pause for a moment and uh, let you listen to the quality of the sound. It'll only be coming through my laptop speaker, so it'll be quite tinny. Okay, there is no sound coming out of my TV. So having played that, with it coming out of my laptop speakers, it should sound quite tinny. And this is the first place where people start getting confused, because they think you should be able to just plug and it works. Well, the real world doesn't work like that. Microsoft Windows doesn't even do that. You have to configure it, so it will learn the preference first. So we're going to go and show you how to do that in NMX Linux now. Find your Pulse Audio volume icon, right click it, and click on Mixer. Now in the Mixer, you want to look at two tabs in particular. One is the output devices, and as we see we've got speakers and headphones and there's no HDMI audio. So it looks like the HDMI video has not been picked up. But that's not strictly true. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the Configuration tab here, and we'll see that there is a little... A, a selectable combo box here. If I go ahead and click that, it has this overwhelmingly huge list of outputs that you can choose, outputs and inputs. Now I need to be very careful here because I'm actually recording video and uh, I know for my computer the right output is this one here. HDMI stereo, uh, digital stereo HDMI 2 output. If I click on that, then sound will be pushed out to the TV but my microphone will be muted and I will no longer be able to continue this recording. So what I want to do now is, instead of choosing that for the purpose of this recording, I know that HDMI 2 works here. So I'm going to find an HDMI 2 profile that should work also with my TV and my microphone recording right now. Now if I scroll down here, I have H Digital Surround 5.1 HDMI 2 output plus analog stereo input. I'm just going to fluff around straight after doing that to make sure my recording will work. So bear with me as I do that. Right, okay, my VU meters are still bouncing around, which tells me the recording is working. Switch to output devices, and I now see the HDMI display port, or HDMI or display port plugged in. There's no other selection, so that tells me it should work. Let's go ahead and play a little caption of the video and see if we've got a much richer sound coming out of my stereo speakers which are plugged into my TV. Halfway across the world in Brazil, different marketplace, same story. Street vendors openly said... There we go. Sounds like it worked really well. Now if I go ahead and close this, so there's no more output from that, and I unplug here, hang on configuration, let's see if it automatically switches back. Not this time round, sometimes it will automatically switch back, sometimes it won't. 
So for those times when it won't, simply click back into here, and I did forget to say, remember which one you had selected in the first instance, and go back to it. Analog Stereo. OK, so the crux of the matter is, whenever you have an external device plugged in, where the audio is being sent out through a digital interface, that is when you need to come into the, the Pulse Audio Volume Control and select the correct device through here. So just do that and you'll find it really easy. Experiment with yours and see which works best for you. I'm going to leave you with that. This is Mike Pav signing out.